What's up, everybody? I hope you all are having a very wonderful and blessed day. And if not, I do pray and hope that it gets better because you deserve it. You definitely do. Today is going to be a weird video as we are covering Marvel's Avengers. This is the first video that I've done in months, if not a year. And it's definitely going to be the last one because Avengers is on its way out. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about what the recent news and then just how I feel about the whole situation. Uh, this video might not necessarily do all that well, simply just because I'm pretty sure I'm not even in the algorithm for this game anymore. But at the same time, my numbers for Avengers have stopped doing well like a long, long time ago. So if it does well, great, cool. If it doesn't, oh well, nothing you can do about it. Now, yesterday around two or four o'clock, we received word from Miller, prominent figure in our community, that the game was going to be sunsetting as early as next week. Now, there were a lot of people that were skeptical and a lot of people that didn't believe him. And a lot of these people were, you know, the tryhards that we, like that people talk about, the diehards, saying that he's lying, he's this and that, he's only like pushing out clickbait reviews. Literally two hours later, they all got caught feeling stupid because we had an official word from Avengers themselves on the situation. To our amazing community, after two and a half years of Earth's Mightiest Heroes following update 2.8, we will no longer add new content or features to Marvel's Avengers and all official support will end on September 30th. Even after official support ceases, both single player and multiplayer content will continue to be available. Update 2.7, which added the Winter Soldier and Clony Lab Mega Level Threat is the last new content to be added to the game. No new cosmetics are coming to the marketplace and all final balance updates will occur in Update 2.8 in March. Along with the end of development, we will also be turning off the cosmetics marketplace. When update 2.8 launches, credits will no longer be purchasable when all remaining credit balances will be converted into in-game resources in order to aid ongoing adventures. Here is a table with the resources that will be granted based on existing credit balances. That's what this is right here. I'm pretty sure I'm only in this range. For anybody that has more than 20, I, I'll be shocked if anybody had more than 25,000 credits. But if you got more than 25, you will get the maximum allowable units. Down here, as a show of our appreciation for our community, starting March 31st, we will make the game's entire marketplace challenge cards and shipment cosmetic content available to everybody for free every single outfit takedown emote and nameplate from the marketplace challenge cards and shipments will be free for all players from this day going forward if you own a copy of the game gifting the full library of marketplace cosmetic content is a way to thank our community by letting everyone experience the breath and death of content in marvel's avengers we know that this is disappointing news in our community well as everyone in our community has such a connection to these characters and their stories we are so so grateful that you came on this adventure with us your excitement for avengers from your epic photo mode shots to your threads theorizing who our next heroes would be to your twitch streams to split a large part in bringing this game to life we hope that you continue to play and enjoy marvel's avengers and we cannot thank you enough for your support and being a part of our superhero team so Avengers has definitely done a lot of good and, and a lot of bad, right? The phrase with this game has primarily always been two steps forward, two steps back. Uh, I know for me, especially, the game definitely has done a lot. I wouldn't be where I am right now if it wasn't for Avengers. Like, it was the start for me. So, for those of you that don't know, I say this because there's new people coming to my channel all the time. Even if those people weren't subscribed, there are still new people coming to my channel. I had a previous channel before this where I primarily focused on anime gaming content. But because of the state of anime gaming at that point and me not wanting to conform to arena fighters simply just because if you're not like a competitive player or making content on it, then it's really nothing there. I was desperately looking for a way out. I was desperately looking for a way out, looking for something new that I could work on, but also still feel like okay with, you know, I looking for something that i could feel okay with working on and that it wouldn't feel like i was forcing it right so to say so marvel's avengers had marvel's avengers were officially released and but not officially released the announcement trailer right we had our first official announcement for it and i was like bet so let me go ahead and make a whole new channel make a whole new channel fresh start we can 
you know, move, we can move forward and just talk about everything Avengers related. Talk about everything Avengers related. Avengers has ne- the consistency of my success with Avengers has always been like up, down, up, down, up, down. And eventually I made the decision to go ahead and depart from Avengers simply just because at that point it was more of a, it was more detrimental to my channel than anything but i still managed to take a, everything that i learned from my time making content all about this game and took that over into other games like midnight suns which has been doing with like which has been doing well for me uh gotham knights suicide squad transformers reactivate which i was not expecting to do as well for me as early as it did but you know god bless it ended up picking up somewhat so for all of my trans if any of my transformers people are watching this video thank you i appreciate and love your support tremendously you guys have no idea but i was able to carry all of that over into other games and my content is you know like consistently evolving into different types aside from just posting gameplay videos back to back to back to back to back now i've also met a lot of cool and wonderful people because of this game right now i've met a lot of people granted i may not be cool with everybody anymore we may not talk but you know for the ones that i'm still for the ones that like i'm still close with you know like i like i value those i value those friendships a lot you know like you know i value those friendships a lot and i support them wholeheartedly hopefully you know they do this hopefully they do the same for me is uh it's always one step forward two steps back to the, like two steps back with avengers right the bad thing the, the biggest bad thing about this game is the fact that it single-handedly tarnished the reputation of superhero games going forward let me rephrase that it single-handedly tarnished the reputation of superhero games that are not made by insomniac going forward and i say that not because of me, not because, you know, like, I'm a fan of Insomniac or whatever. My favorite Insomniac game ain't even Spider-Man. It's Ratchet and Clank, if we're being honest. But the reason why I say that is specifically just because you literally hear it all the time. Insomniac should have made this. Insomniac should have made that. They should have made Suicide Squad. They should have made Avengers. They should have made Got the Night. They should have made... Y'all know there's more than one studio in the world, right? Y'all know it's more than one gaming studio in the world that can actually do a decent job. Idios Montreal, Guardians of the Galaxy, Fire Axis Gaming, Midnight Suns. Uh, well, Daybreak Entertainment. I believe I'm gonna just say Daybreak. DC Universe Online. Oh yeah. I I'm gonna need y'all to get. I'm gonna need y'all to stop living under a rock. I'm gonna need y'all to stop living under Insomniac's rock, to be exact. But yeah, no, it it tarnished the reputation of superhero games coming out because it's like Avengers now is always the definite is always the definite comparison. Whenever there's something in a game that somebody doesn't like, like oh no, it's Avengers 2.0. With the whole thing that's been going on recently with Suicide Squad, it's finna, like this is going to be Avengers 2.0 again. People did the same thing with Gotham Knights. Oh, it's Avengers, but not a live service. It's just like Avengers has single-handedly done so much harm to the reputation of all of these future games. It's it, it's it's not it's not even funny. It's not even funny. I will. I, I wish that it wasn't like this, but it's like, what can you do? What the hell can you do? It's it's gonna take a while before we can even just shake the narrative of, you know, Avengers. Avengers is bad. Avengers is bad. Now, granted, they have done they they have done some bad things before. They have done some. They 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 recently did a bad thing two days ago. I'm gonna show you. So, y'all see this right here, right? Marvel's Avengers MCU Alpha Pack. This joint costs $75.99. Well, no, $74.99, but $75 after tax. Keep this in mind. This costs more than the base game bit it released. 
Also, this was released on January 19th. The update for the game shutting down was released on the 20th. They literally posted this a day before they posted the final update. And I'm positive somebody bought it. If whoever bought this needs to go get a goddamn charge back on their card. I don't care if you got to call Chase. You got to call Flagstar. You got to call Huntington. You got to call Bank of America. You got to call AAA. AAA ain't even the goddamn bank. But you need to call somebody and go get the charge back on your goddamn card. Because all this stuff going to be free in like two months. I feel I like I I genuinely feel bad for whoever bought this pack, but at the same time I don't. Cause why the hell are you spending seventy five dollars on a skin pack? If you got the money to just blow like that, then by all means go ahead, do what you want to do. But if you ain't got it like that, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be spending seventy five dollars on a goddamn skin pack. But it's a uh, he said, like, there a lot of things Avengers have done wrong. Just, like, either predatory or just not really, like, or just, like, fixing their game in the weirdest ways. Like, y'all, like, y'all will patch either exploits or just processes. No, y'all will either patch exploits or make grinding harder for players so that they can spend more time playing. But y'all will literally... I just want to point this out. It's been two and a half years. They've never fixed one of the main bugs people have been consistently asking them to fix, which is the health bug glitch. When you go down or you take too much damage at one time, your bar gets glitched and your health is now much weaker than what it's supposed to be. And it will not fix itself unless you restart the mission or you take a piece of, or you take a piece of gear off and put it back on. It's a, I didn't feel as bad as like some people did when the announcement for this went out, right? Simply just because I've been so checked out of Avengers for like a long time now. But there are people that I've seen, you know, like going crazy on Reddit, taking photos and videos of like them staring at the home screen for Avengers or whatever. Like, this is the end. This is really it, guys. I can't believe this is happening. I didn't think this would happen. I mean, the signs were definitely showing the signs of this happening were definitely showing but at the same time i like i understand that people are just like so gutted by this because like they feel very strongly and deeply and care about this game but me i just i was like shit this soon <laughs> like i'm like i'm so i'm so like i'm so like i'm not i'm not i'm not, I'm not trying to be rude but it like it's like it was just genuinely how i felt because like don't get me wrong i will still always have a love for the memory of this game and everything that it's done but i'm also not gonna sit here and you know care this much when i've been checked out for so long because of various different things now i would every everything isn't all bad right because we do have stuff to look forward to you know in, in the future right we got more dlc on the way with men we got more dlc on the way with midnight suns with deadpool with deadpool being uh the first expansion well but yeah with deadpool being the first uh dlc expansion to release on the, well this friday actually deadpool's coming out this friday with uh like what well, with new story missions new enemy content uh vampires all that jazz right new enemy types uh, we got Suicide Squad arriving in May, which is going to kick off the summer. We got Spider-Man 2, which I assume is going to get here in the second half of 2023, possibly September or October. We got Iron Man. We got the Captain America and Black Panther game. We got Wonder Woman by Monolith. We still got the uh, we still got the other two games that are being made by uh ea the other two marvel games that are being made by ea that haven't been announced yet like we have a we 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 have a solid future of superhero gaming to look forward to because while like Sp even though even though spider-man did come out beforehand right avengers I, avengers kind of set the tone going forward i feel like avengers definitely kind of set the tone going forward of like kicking off this new golden era of superhero gaming as badly as it did perform 
it was the start. And, you know, we were able to see this game run its course. And, you know, now, now it's over. So, a solid farewell to Avengers. Solid farewell. I am, like, I am going to be uh, doing, like, a little last Avengers stream. Well, like, I was, like yeah, like, yeah, like, like what? The, the final days of Avengers stream on the 31st when that gets here. Primarily just because I want to get on and get everything for free. <laughs> But I'm gonna play for a little bit too, you know, just as a like as a kind of going away party. But uh, this is definitely gonna be the last Avengers video ever on this channel. Maybe it might be the same for some other channels too. Who knows? I can't speak for them, but it will be for mine. But with that being said, it's gonna bring us to the end of this video. I hope that you guys have had a very decent time. Uh, if not, let me know down in the comments below about exactly what it is I can improve on, what you would like to see. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you can stay updated on literally any other type of video that I post that is a lot of pictures. And I will catch y'all in the moonlight. Peace.